Now, why do we have, why do we have what looks like three o'clock at our house? Cheese and wine and charcuterie out. I know. <laughs> These are some of my favorite foods, but they're actually high in histamine contents. So remember, we were just talking about right. how your body releases histamine when you have allergy symptoms. So these, this is like you're eating histamine. And so on really bad allergy days, hate to bring it to you, you should avoid these foods. Sorry, you're just gonna have to live with the snot, John, because you don't want to be around me if I don't get a glass of red wine at nighttime. <laughs> just kidding. But what I recommend to all my patients is start your allergy medicines early. So two weeks before the start of allergy season. So we're actually already That's a little a behind. Right. Start your allergy medicines now so then you don't have to be symptomatic. And if you're not symptomatic and you get your symptoms under control early, then you can eat as much you of as you want. You can eat anything you want. You want. <laughs> Good one. I love that tip. Okay. So these are foods that you can eat as much as you want of. So ginger, garlic, onion, and cayenne pepper. So have you ever eaten a spicy meal and been like, woo, that just cleared out my sinuses? Yeah, well, these are like the basic building blocks. I don't write recipes that don't have garlic and onions in them. It's kind of against, well, everything in me. Um, and I use a lot of hot pepper and cayenne pepper. My daddy's from Louisiana, my mother's Sicilian. And ginger is a great anti-inflammatory, so I drink ginger tea all day long. I'm square. All right, Woo! got this. I rocked that one. All right. I rocked it. Okay, the next contact lenses. So all of you contact lens wearers, it's a magnet for pollen. So if you have mm. eye symptoms, that's probably why. So I would recommend on high pollen count days to wear your eyeglasses or a little excuse to buy Nice pair a of new pair of sunglasses. The other <laughs> thing that I recommend actually is the pollen could actually get stuck in your eyelashes. So what you want to do is just take a little baby shampoo, put it on a little cotton swab, and actually do little eye scrubs every night, and it gets rid of the pollen that gets stuck a good tip too. in your lids. That's a really cool tip. All right. This is this, I'm, am I really gonna have to clean this? So this is what <laughs> your filters look like in your air conditioner. So think about it, they've been off and dormant for the last six right. or seven months, My right? My husband's obsessed with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, honey. But he changes those filters He's every, all over this. Every three months you need yep. to change them because otherwise when you turn them on, you're gonna get a plume of smoke and dust and all kinds oh. of things. Trigger for your allergies. So every three months you change these and then this doesn't become a problem. And I, I would say at, at this time of year, you know, check them even more frequently. But if you haven't changed it since winter, pop a new one in there right now, don't you think? Absolutely. 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 Done. All right. We have one more. Final tip. We have one final tip, and that's actually when you're outside, right, yeah. on a high pollen count day, and you come indoors, first thing you want to do is like plop on your couch, right? Well, now you've just tracked all that pollen into your home, all over your couch, and now it's airborne. So you've just made an outdoor allergy. An indoor, indoor allergy. allergy. So you want to strip down right away. If you can, wash your clothes as quickly as possible. Otherwise, just put it in a hamper with a lid on it and save it for as soon as possible. No, seriously. And then take a, take a shower right after. And yep. I would avoid actually using hair products and hairspray and things because, again, pollen magnets. Sticks. It, it sticks. sticks to all it the sticks. stuff that makes your hair stick. Yep. Right. You want to rinse off and shower. It will do wonders to help your allergies. Keeping it clean. Great job. Thank